Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. We have Kieran, we have Stevie, we have Shaka. Stevie's actually been fuming with me today because Kieran asked where Dan's seat was. <laughs> Uh, Could he go and sit in it while he came upstairs I can't believe she showed you where really his seat was. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe you never sent him away over the other way. He was so mad because Stevie sits really close to me. When I said, oh, he sits just over there, he went... <laughs> yeah. like, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't stand up in the right place. <laughs> very, very annoyed at me. Anyway, yeah. see, I look after you, Kieran. Not like these I know ones. where Stevie sits now, so I can nick his Kit Kats from the drawer. Uh, yes, <laughs> uh, uh, there are those. There are Just those. don't tell Burley. Yeah. Just don't tell Craig Burley. Yeah, don't tell him. Hope he's not watching. <laughs> Craig has a <laughs> side answer to that. Uh. Yeah, he's had to hide his chocolate from Craig, and he did so again today. <laughs> I got some. All right, dear panel, did you have rituals before an FA Cup final or did you treat it as pretty much a regular away game? P.S. Kieran, would Arsenal stay at home or spend the night at home instead and meet at the training ground game day? All right, so we'll, we'll answer the second part of that first. Uh, what was the second, the second part? Was part when is... we stayed at home? Yes. No, we, we stayed at a hotel right next to Wembley. Right. right next to Wembley, so it was literally a couple of minutes. Right. Which was funny because then you'd get on the bus and it would still it would still take like twenty yeah. minutes to get in. <laughs> to get there. There's just so many people around. That's um, what, yeah, because Frank was talking about that and sneaking back to his own bed when the team hotel was close enough to his house because he really? needed his own bed. Yeah, but it was, I, yeah. He said it was ten yards away though. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, London is massive, obviously. So listen, did you treat it as a, a regular away game? Absolutely, I. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Changed nothing. Just tried. Try Try and treat it as every other away game, including staying in a garbage hotel. <laughs> <laughs> the hotel in Watford Gap. <laughs> it was about as basic as you could get. And we're watching, we used to, so you're watching all the, of course back then, it was like a day event. So it was on 24 seven on the TV. So they would go to the hotel in the mornings on all the cameras and the, the, the thing would just last all day. And we'd be looking, whoever we were playing would be in the big fancy one in London, big big posh hotel and everything. We were in the Waterford Gap. <laughs> <laughs> you could hear the cars going by in the motorway. <laughs> really, what's going on here? But just the same as normal. But it, but it did the trick. Did the trick, yeah. Huh? What, what about you, Kieran? I bet it changed a bit since you were playing what the hotels looked like compared to where Stevie uh -huh. was staying. Yeah, no, they were, I mean, I remember being just as a young kid, a 17, in the first ever travel away game and just being blown away by just being in a hotel. By the way, can we take that camera shot back? Look at that, look at me, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Why are you so high? Uh, Tarring over him, Steve. Hold on, excuse me, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, there's been too much tonight. I think we need full Backs United show oh, with these two. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it, Stevie? Don't leave him hanging. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to raise his chair up, you did, and that's what happened. Oh. You could have gone with him well, and stayed low. You know what I mean? <laughs> Checker. He'll learn. Hotels, night before. Regular um, away game as well. Let me, well, I, I think the, 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 the Africa family played with, I, I was on the bench for, with, with Newcastle. I think we came down to London early. Um, so we spent a day or two, which is not what, was not what we would do um, uh, for a regular away game. And then similarly with, with West Ham in 06, because that final was, was in Cardiff, we went, I, I feel as though we went on a day or two early again and, and trained there maybe the day before the stadium or just the day before the game and just had a, a, a light session. So not strictly as, as you would, uh, or certainly as we did uh, around, around a regular weekend. Well, you now know that all the Liverpool players would have been staying in a garbage hotel. Well, that's what we should have done. That's what we and that's what worked for them. Yeah, garbage is the wrong word. No, no, too late it's now. Average too late now, don't, don't, don't try to backtrack. Yeah. Would... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Stevie as a diva? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> We've met him as an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. OK, you can come back, Kieran. All right, would Kane have scored more goals than Haaland if he was in the Man City team this season? That's a tough one. Uh, I'm going to go for no. I mean, he's only scored... No. He's only scored... I, 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 listen, I... I 
Straight up, my answer is no. I think Erling Haaland is a better is a better player than Harry Kane. Shaq, he's only scored six less, is it? Yeah. He's only scored six less for goals. Spurs. For Spurs. Okay. That doesn't change my answer at all. Okay. Well, let's switch it around. How many goals does Haaland score playing for Spurs? <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know. I, agree. I don't know how anybody scores oh. goals for, for, for Spurs. Oh, exactly. That, that, well, that's cool. Well, let, well let, all, all I'm saying is, if I'm picking a team right now, I'm picking Erling Haaland over Harry. Yeah, sure, man. Right. Okay. So, there, so therefore, in my opinion, you put both of them in that City team. I, I think Erling Haaland scores more goals. I'm gonna go Haaland as well. Yeah, I don't think you can turn around and say, yes, Kane would score more goals. No, yeah. I, I, th I think the thing that hits you straight in the face is, hold on a minute, it's only six more than Kane got, and he's playing for Spurs. That's... I mean, that's remarkable. For Isn't me. it? That is mental. And it's, uh, which is better, losing a final 5-0 or losing on penalties? Oh, cool. Which is better? Oh, you'd rather... Nah, but you'd rather lose on penalties. Aye. You don't want to get embarrassed. 5 no. no thanks. No, you don't want to get embarrassed. Penalties. Losing on penalties. No, 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 all right. Stevie, who are most comfortable facing in a duel, or who are you most comfortable facing in a duel? A striker with pace, a striker with dribbling skills, or a striker with physicality? Physicality. Well, because you can outplay them by using your brain. You don't need to fight them. I mean, if you're playing a guy with pace, then you've got more questions to answer. Do I step off? Do I stick up tight? And if you stick up too tight, and you misjudge it, then you're done. But as, if you're just playing against a big, strong guy, you can outplay him. I, I think that also depends on, on the defender. You know, Stevie's a big, strapping man. You look at Kieran, who's a little <laughs> tiny specimen of a wing back. Clearly, you compare those two. <laughs> Stevie would prefer physicality over Kieran, where Kieran wouldn't. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Wait, let me pop it, let me pop it. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh. Stevie's a big strapping man! Hold on a minute. Stress on the big. <laughs> I don't think it's that big of a show. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Stevie? What did you say? Physicality. <laughs> Physicality. What are you Aye. going for, Kieran? Uh, I'd go, I'm going to go pace. I'd... See, I told you he wouldn't like <laughs> physicality. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a wee strap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Right, right. All right, Shaka, <sighs> what is the most memorable moment on the show from this season? Oh, there's only one that will live forever. That fish. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fish chasing Jan down. Uh, uh, yeah. the final stretch. Uh, Jan could not run a fish. I don't, yeah. I don't think Kieran will have seen it. So Jan oh God, you, got, you have to see got it. involved in this race. Mm. Oh, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> look, so he's in the look, bottom look, of the screen, right? Look, 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 look. Jan Oh, first of all, it's a false start. <laughs> but, and then there's a fish. <laughs> 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 Jan's <laughs> going backwards. <laughs> I mean, he's only just, only just beaten his head. Let me tell you something. If that race was 20 metres more, the fish would have passed him. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> hey! <laughs> 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 For those who didn't see it, that's exactly what it looked like. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, God. Than you, <laughs> oh, goodness me, let me tell you. That will live forever. That will always be funny. Oh, that's a... One, that will yeah, always... never not funny. Two, that they have it ready every time. Every single time. <laughs> about it. <laughs> they had a All right, so that was the most memorable moment. OK, is there a City United combined 11? Would there be a place for Bruno Fernandes in it, the middle of the park, in, in the combined 11? Oh. Would he make it? Not much. <coughs> no. I mean, who, who's there for De Bruyne? Who are you, who are you getting rid of? Yeah. De Bruyne? Is there anybody in the United team in the combined 11 over the City players? Um, Varane, if you play three at the back, maybe. Over, over who? Walker. Oh, so, oh, oh, so you, you take it away. You... Taking away wing backs and three at the back. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if you played three at the back, if you could play Varane mm. instead of Walker. Because they've got stones in the middle and the 
on the show, they showed City with three at the back. Right. They had a Kanji, Diaz, and Walker. So could you switch what? Could you take Walker out and play Varane? Rashford, Grealish. Rashford, no. Grealish. No. Maybe. But no, Bruno. I'd, I'd have. No. I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd go Rashford over Grealish. I'd do that. It's the only one I can think of. Right. No. To all, who gets a Premier League manager job first? Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard, or Graham Potter? Potter. Easy. Does Casemiro get into that combined eleven by the way? No, Rodri. You'd play Rodri, wouldn't you? Yeah. I'm not so well, sure. Well, it's what you're looking for in it as well. If, if you look at every quality they bring, then maybe, right? I'm, I'm thinking Casemiro. Over Rodri? Yeah. No. no not for, for me. No. And a million years. That's a lot of years. <laughs> one, right there. Potentially one in it for you? In that combined 11? No. Yep. Uh, tough school, man. Mm -hmm. Well, sorry, sorry. I know we moved on. Yeah, but we was... did move on. And two of you answered Graham Potter. To, to all, who gets a Premier League manager? Yeah. Frank Lampard, Stephen Gerrard, Graham Potter. Oh, yeah. Graham yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, do you have any regrets when you look back on your playing career? Let me start with you, Kieran. Um, no. 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 Love it. No regrets, Stevie. No. 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 Good. Either good or bad. Okay. Wonderfully, wonderfully stated, Stevie. Thank you, Sean. Nice, yeah. Stevie. Thank you. <laughs> Would you change anything in your career? No. Have you said anything silly on stage? No. Comparing... Uh, oh, well, I've done a few silly things. The well. Ballon d'Or? No, not there I didn't. No. That's why they asked me back for a second. <laughs> 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 All right, between Chelsea and Arsenal, which club will win the first... Uh, which will win the Premier League first? This is sil mm. oh, it's a silly question well, for Kieran. Kieran yeah, well, Kieran yeah. already said that Arsenal are winning yeah. next season, so go. we know <laughs> his answer. Said Chelsea, what up? <laughs> Chelsea. <laughs> Don't do it, Stevie. Do it. What do you think? Um, you know, you know what? I don't know. I'll be honest. Um, what? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Go to Stephen first. All right, Stephen. I would go Arsenal before Chelsea. Chelsea's in a bit of a shambles. Yeah, see, no, the, the trick. Yeah, no, no question. Arsenal are a better position right now, but we're talking about. Both these these clubs getting their house in order, more to the point, Chelsea getting their poison, point, house in order, at a time where City just falls off. And, and the trouble is, I just don't see City falling off the cliff right now, so that gives Chelsea a lot of time to make up the ground. But this is not Abramovich, Chelsea. This is a completely different ball game. We don't know what's going to harm. That's right. Arsenal. Look at the, look at the state of United. United have spent, in the last 10 years, El Stato, you need to have spent more money in the Man City on players in the last 10 years. So, just because Bowley and Chelsea go and spend loads of dough, doesn't mean they're going to win the league like they used to under Abramovich. Okay. I'm, going with, I'm going with your boys, Arsenal. Okay, there you go. That's it. That's all the questions uh, that we do have tonight. Thanks so much for sending them in. We've had a ball today on Extra Time. We'll be back tomorrow to do it all over again. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.